Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're doing part two of the build of the LEGO City Deep Sea Exploration Vessel. This is how far we made it in part one. We have the exploration vessel started. We have quite a few diver exploration apparatus. We've got divers, we've got sharks, we've got all kinds of goodness. So um, check out part one if you want to see how all that was built. But right now we're continuing on bag number five. And this is a continuation of instruction book number three. Small bag of elements there. All right. next minifigure as well. The guy with tan pants, a blue sailor's jacket. He's got like a kind of a police style hat. Not quite a sailor's hat. I'll we'll just go with it. Put him over there. So we do need a this plate is in a bag of un, um, an unnumbered bag of elements. So let's start adding these slotted tiles. Basically need eight of them. modified bricks with a bar on the side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we have four of the two one by four bricks. It's interesting in the instruction book, this last one that they show is kind of a darker gray color, but it's not supposed to be. A couple rare two by four red bricks. We have a couple ladders, both sides, and some one by one plates, along with one more plate right here. studs on the side that we're going to put a slotted tile on. Two of those. We're going to rotate this around and put inverted slope, inverted slope, and a one by one brick with um, clips on the side. So those go like that. And slope, brick, sloped brick, one by 
plus six. We have the walkie-talkie, a couple levers, gauge panel, and binoculars. Go right there. More inverted slopes. Inverted slope. This is interesting. We have inverted slopes going on the inside, along with some bricks with studs facing out. slotted tiles There, I have some printed sloped bricks, another lever goes there, coffee mug, a couple life preserver or life safety rings. That completes bag five. So now we're on to bag number six. Small bag of parts in the big bag. So first we're gonna start off with this window panel, attach some light, trans light blue glass panels. Those both go there and there. Now we have three of these large windows. pieces in them. Goes one, two, and three. assortment of plates, tiles, now we have six of these lights, there's one, two, Five. 
and six. Part of the roof. Let's build the other part. It's going to be very similar, just opposite side. Start with some bricks. We have this corner slope. A slope and a slope. Green. We have a. Uh, this one's different. We have this plate with a Technic pin on the top and a loud hailer speaker. Looks like we're going to do a radar dish type piece that spins. That goes there. Lastly, we have uh, the main roof portion. Your red plate, black plate, red plate, black plate, and then these slotted slope elements. Have this angled girder. Jumper tile with a round brick on it. I have this top antenna piece. Green light, red light, and a another antenna at the top. Now we have this bar element with a cone. And a trans clear stud. Two, three more slopes, and we'll put this bar across there. We put this whole piece slides right there. Now we'll bring our boat over. This whole element goes right there. That completes instruction book number three, and it actually completes the exploration vessel. But we have one more thing to build. We have this um, shipwreck. So we need to open up bag number seven to begin the build of that. In addition to that, we have some large elements that are in an unnumbered bag that we need to use. A decent size bag of small parts. A lot of gold tile in there too. It's pretty cool. Alright, so we have our what will be our fourth exploration guy, deep sea exploration guy. And he has the deep sea diving apparatus on. Which looks eerily similar to a spaceman's 
apparatus. But it's not. It's the, uh, the deep sea diving one. He does have a welding torch that he's probably exploring the shipwreck with and cutting away um, parts of the ship to get to the treasure. So that's our deep sea diver. We do have a octopus that will also be down at the bottom shipwreck area. Alright, so we'll bring over this 16 by 16 plate. Start by doing a 1 by 1 brick. A 1 by 6. And then we have this little big molded boat piece which basically goes right there on top of that plate we have another one by one one by six and a wedge plate Another couple wedge plates. Need a two by three. And that big plate there. All right, put that to the side because we have another one right here. We're gonna begin some plates on. Bring this over. That goes there. One by four brick. Some one by two bricks. Got these uh, big ugly rock pieces. One goes there. It'll take this around and you can kind of see how the shipwreck is forming now. Jumpers. One more two by two plate. All right, we have a brown crate with three of the gold tiles in there. So there's some buried treasure or sunken treasure. Two one by three tiles that get some wood grain stickers on here for decoration.
Doing my best to put them on straight. There's one, there's number two. That'll have to be good enough. So we have a kind of dark tan crate with another wood patterned sticker on there. So that goes there. There's some buried treasure that uses all the stickers. So we know we're getting close to the end of the build when we start to use all the stickers. All right, so let's continue on the uh, shipwreck piece. bunch of gold tiles put down here next to the shipwreck so these could be clues for the diver to, to look in here to find some treasure another gold tile here So that completes bag seven. So we are on to our eighth and final bag. Basically, some elements to complete the shipwreck scene. Small bag of parts right here. Time 
for some foliage. So remember this is underwater, so that's what it looks like. This foliage is floating. It's more or less what it's supposed to look like when it's underwater. This interesting element. I can't say that I've ever seen this before. It's like some sort of half frame piece. You take the other half, sandwich it between all of that, and kind of creates this A frame type of part. This goes there. Has the same windows that our exploration vessel had. Has one side window. The other side's busted out. Tiles. Couple plates with Technic pinholes. Another one there. Put the non friction pin in there. Plate to hold that together. Couple more plates on there.
All right, this goes here. Another one over there that'll hold that in place. that completes the build of the deep sea exploration vessel. I think the shipwreck part is one of the coolest parts of this set, in my opinion. It's a pretty cool little play feature. Um, let me get this back on there. So when you pull the uh, the gold bars out, the top of the shipwreck starts to fall in. So it could potentially smash anyone that's trying to get the treasure out from under there. Push it back in, hold it on. That's pretty cool. So let's kind of um, move some stuff around so we can see what's going on with this whole set. Quite a few divers. Of course we've got our giant exploration vessel right there. Along with some exploration apparatus. Really, really big set. You can see there's quite a bit going on with it. Even though there was only 717 elements, there's still a lot of cool stuff happening with it. So, very, very cool set. Let me move that out of the way. You'll probably see this better. There we go. Sharks, we've got explorers, we've got all kinds of cool stuff. So put a comment down below, tell me your thoughts if you watch both parts, you're awesome. Thanks for watching, biggest fan ever. And make sure to subscribe, check out my other videos, and we will see you in the next one.